Just about everyone has sexual fantasies and there are lots of reasons why. What happens in our heads is completely private. If no one can see or hear what we're thinking, there are no rules. We're free to be totally honest and as slutty, immoral, dirty, depraved, kinky, degenerate or horribly, delightedly politically incorrect as we like. Because we're directing the films that play in our own sexual cinemas, everything runs exactly to plan. Our lovers are handsome, tall, muscled and sexually skilled. We are perfect airbrushed versions of ourselves, wildly desirable and impossible to resist. Most of us realise taking these perfect fantasies through to reality isn't going to be easy. A lot we'd never want to try in reality. Some would have us not only running for the hills, but calling the police along the way. But others, others stay with us long after the arousal and orgasm has faded. We can't stop thinking about them and somewhere, somehow, they morph from erotic entertainment into possible real life scenarios. Could I get away with it turns into when and how could I get away with it. Before we know it, we're actually doing it and almost inevitably dealing with situations and consequences we didn't quite bargain for. Even if you're of the opinion that all fantasies are as fluffy and innocent as fairy floss when they remain locked inside your heads, handing over the keys is tricky business. If you're role playing the fantasy, it's usually easiest to play it out at home, using simple props, music in different rooms of your house to suit different scenarios. Just make sure you plan it for when you're not going to be interrupted by visiting in-laws or children wanting cookies and cuddles. But that doesn't mean you can't start the scenario in public. If you're role playing sex while others watch you, for instance, go to an appropriate bar and make out a little, kiss, try some furtive touching of breasts and maybe more under the table before going home to act out the main event. Before the role play starts, check how serious you're both going to take it. Does it matter if you don't stay in character or will you or they consider the illusion shattered if you do? If you end up overtaken by laughter rather than lust, just keep going. It sometimes helps to fast forward to the really naughty part to push yourself past the giggles. If you're planning on actually acting out the fantasy, you'll also need to work out an agreed stop now signal. Now the safe word should be something which isn't likely to come up in the conversation you're likely to have during the fantasy reenactment. Orange is better than harder, for instance. Talking it through is imperative. Be as specific as you possibly can about what's allowed and what isn't. Set rules. Get your partner to repeat back to you what they think the rules are and vice versa so it is absolutely crystal clear what's acceptable and what's not. Most important of all is this. Always remember your relationship is more important than the experience, even if it is bloody fantastic. Don't embarrass each other by constantly asking if they're okay, but do watch closely for any giveaway body language signals that hint they're pretending to enjoy it rather than genuinely happy. If it involves other people and you'd be too embarrassed to stop proceedings by saying a word, work out a very clear gesture you can make more subtly. It might be as simple as a peace sign. At the first hint of anyone getting upset, angry or just turned off by what's happening, stop and break for a private chat. If they don't want to continue, don't. Be prepared to console and comfort them for as long as they need if it's left them feeling unnerved and insecure.